Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me as I share my thoughts on the film Inside Out 2. Those guys are jerks. Wow. Those guys are jerks. Full disclosure, I didn't really care for Inside Out. It's, I respected it. I thought it was beautiful to look at. Uh, I just didn't have that emotional connection to it. I don't know. A lot of people did, and that's fair. So when we started watching the Inside Out 2 trailers, uh, the wife and I were like, uh, okay, Pixar, what are you, you're hitting puberty, huh? We're, we're just getting over uh, uh, turning red. We're literally just got over our PTSD with turning red. So, yeah, where are we going with this? That did the... The red peony blue? No! Well, I'm happy to say that Inside Out 2, it works. And it's completely surface level, and there's nothing controversial about this movie whatsoever. I mean, I'm sure somebody's going to try to come up with some controversy about it. Just, there's none, really. Dives into the social aspect, the, the, the social anxiety, the social awkwardness of growing up. is so incredibly relatable. I mean, there's a, a teenager who was basically curled up next to me, bawling, and there was an adult that giggled at everything and cried at the end. And I have to admit, I got choked up too. That movie works on such a surface level. When you walk out of the movie, at least for me, when I walked out of the movie, I felt I had a whole bunch of feels. But when I started really thinking about it, I noticed that all the characters that surrounded Riley were incredibly stable, absolutely supportive. There was not one person that didn't not like Riley or did not believe in Riley, and it was all about Riley. So when anxiety started taking over Riley, she became a jerk. If they would have changed the structure where there were people that were the opposite of Riley or going through a same social awkward stage, it would change the whole story structure and it would have gone into a whole other deep realm. And I totally get why they didn't do that. I totally understand that. But at the same time, I kind of feel like, especially if they're going to do it inside out three, the high school years, that not everybody is stable. Not everybody is structured that way that it becomes more complicated, that these people are not always your friends, even though you want them to be your friends. You kind of learn that, okay, these are not really my people. And that's okay. There are people out there, perfectly good people, that I don't really want to associate myself with. And that's fair, and that's okay. And there's a lot of people that look at me and they don't want to associate themselves with me. I totally get it. That's reality. And I almost kind of felt like it was a missed opportunity that Riley did not engage in that. That there was not another person conflicting in that, the, the, with those emotions. Which is really interesting. And then they really kind of touched on the other person's emotions briefly. And that was kind of exciting at that moment. But then it just kind of went away. And then there was the, the story structure of the journey that the emotions are going on, which felt very similar to the first movie, except you get to go on with the other emotions this time around to try to find something. And I think as an adult, you, you know that what Joy was doing was wrong and you know what anxiety doing is wrong. And in the end, it's pretty much the same story as the first movie you have conflicting emotions and you have to find a balance. What is that balance? But the thing is, is it's not real, is it? <laughs> you know, my wife, God bless her, anxiety is driving her 90% of the time. For me, it's embarrassment driving me 90% of the time. In fact, I have to go to work meetings or events and look in the mirror and say, don't be awkward. Don't be awkward. Don't say something stupid. Is that anxiety or embarrassment? I don't know. It's one of the two. So if you're going to go see this movie, know that it doesn't go into dark, weird places. Deals with the surface level, social anxiety, awkwardness, 
that a teenager goes through. It's highly relatable to any preteen, teen, to an adult, and it's highly entertaining for my six-year-old. So let's bring in an expert who knows kids films. Please welcome Addie. Hello. We're going to be doing today, we're going to be talking about Inside Out number two. Inside Out is a is super fun. It's all about emotions. This people can control the emotions that is in your head. You should watch that movie if you haven't watched it before. Well, Inside Out too. I saw it yesterday and it's so much fun. The new emotions are trying to help why we get better and better, but they just gonna do it. The, the whole crew came back safe, trying to make why we do the motions again. It's also kind of fun. My favorite part of the movie was the beginning where Joy says all the motions and did the hockey game. That's my favorite part. And they had amazing things. They had amazing things. And my second favorite part was when Joy says to the day to the workers, Why are we so lucky we ran into you guys? Why are we so lucky we ran into you guys? Wow, those guys are jerks. Everything. Everything they say over the workers just came out in slow mode. It's the whole thing. And there's a new thing that you haven't seen in number one. It's called down. It's called down and when you put the emotion, when you put those white twist when you put like those little bars that shows the emotion, you could they put it down and then they made a line up and you can do this, you touch it, then it will say the word that the emotion is all about. Joy goes down there every day, but sadness hasn't seen it at all. And she was afraid to break it, but she actually didn't. Just watch the new things that I haven't seen before. Number one. So go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Hit that subscribe button and like and like the bell icon to do this video for work. Bye. With all that being said, this is just my opinion and my thoughts, and I want to hear what you have to say about Inside Out 2. And I think, you know, this is actually a very good conversation piece. Everybody's going to have different feels when it comes to this movie. Just because anxiety is driving you, does that mean you're a jerk? There's a lot of things in this movie that's just not fair to some of us. But at the same time, we get the point. Pixar, we get the point. Anywho, share your thoughts. I want to hear everything that you think about Inside Out too, and I appreciate you going on this film journey with me. And I'm so grateful that you took the time for me today. Hit that subscribe button and like and like the bell icon to do this video for work. Bye.